Okay, so this problem is about optimization with a constraint. So, first I'm going to give you five simple steps to solving these types of problems. Number one, draw a picture of whatever you're trying to um, minimize. Two, write equations. So you're going to write an objective and a constraint equation. Three, take the derivative and set it equal to zero because that's where the function will be at a maximum or a minimum. Four, use a sign test to make sure it's a maximum or a minimum, whichever one that you want. And five, plug in the number that you get to get the other variable. So I'm going to erase these because I have very small amount of board space. So the problem we're going to be solving is about a manager of a department store who wants to build a 600 square foot rectangular enclosure. Three sides of the enclosure will be built with a redwood fencing which costs $14 per foot and the fourth side will be made of cement blocks which cost $28 per foot. We want to find the dimensions that minimize the cost of the materials. So, as I said before, step one is draw a picture. So, we want a rectangular enclosure, and three of the four sides will be made of this redwood fencing. So, we're going to call the short side x and the long side y, which makes these sides x and that side y as well. So first we want to write an area equation, and we already know that the area of this is 600 square feet. So area is length times width, so for us we can say it's x times y. And we already know that it's 600, so we can set this equation equal to 600. This is our constraint equation, because it limits what these dimensions can be. Next, we're going to write the objective equation. And first, we'll write it out in words. So we need the cost of material 1 times, and this is all going to be cost, times the amount of material 1. Sorry if you can't read this, it's probably really small. And then we're going to add cost of material 2, since we have 2. Times the amount of material 2. So and now we can just plug in the numbers. So our first material is $14, which is the redwood fencing. And it has three sides, so two y's and an x. So multiply that by two y plus x. Then we add the second material, which is $28, times the amount, which is just one side, so it's x, sorry from the way, x. Boom. So you can multiply this out, and you get 28y plus 14x plus 28x which simplifies to 28y plus 3042x. So I'm going to erase all this for space, but that's how you get the objective equation. So I'll write it here. Okay, so now we want to write the objective equation in terms of either x or y. And so we can find that using the constraint by dividing by either x or y. I'm going to do y. So now we can write this equation in terms of y by replacing this x with the x that we just solved for, which is 600 over y. So we can rewrite this by saying 28y plus 42 times, we're replacing the x with this x, 600y. And if you multiply that out, you get 28y plus 25,200 over y equals cost. So now I want to explain about the derivative. If this is our function, which this isn't what it looks like, but if this is a function, and we want to find the derivative of the function at this point. The derivative just means the slope of the tangent line there. 
So the tangent line just tells us that's a really crappy tangent line, but whatever. Um, if the function is increasing or decreasing at that point. So at this point, the function is increasing and the tangent line is going up. Here, the tangent line or the derivative is zero. Same with here and here. So anywhere where the derivative equals zero, um, it's a max or a min. So that's what we want to do here. We're going to take the derivative of the cost function and set it equal to zero. So then um, we'll find where the function is either maximized or minimized. So I don't have time to show you guys how to take the derivative, but there will probably be another video on how to do that. And we get negative 20. So now we're going to set this equal to zero, and I'm going to subtract this. So we're just solving for y now. So we just added that, then multiply by y squared to get it out of the bottom. So 20y squared equals 25,200 divided by 28 which is 900. Then we're going to take the square root. y equals 30. So now we have to do a sign test to make sure that y equals 30 is actually a min and not a max. Because if we have the max, then we'd be maximizing the cost, which is not what we want. So we know that y equals 30. You guys probably can't see that, but that just says y equals 30 is where the derivative is 0 or flat, just like it is at all these. So we need to test the point that's smaller than 30 and bigger than 30. So we can do 1 and 31. So we're just going to plug in 1 back into the derivative of the cost function. So when we do that, we get a really negative number. So the derivative is decreasing. Um, and then we're going to do the same thing for 31. You just plug it in right here, and you get a really positive number. So the derivative is going back up. So we definitely have a min. Check. Yay. So now we can use this y and plug it back into the area or the constraint equation to figure out what x is. So we already know this, so we can just plug in this new y right here. And we get that x equals 20. So when x equals 20 and y equals 30, the area is 600, and the cost of the materials is the smallest that it will be if the area equals 600. So we solved the optimization. Yay! Good luck on your exam.